Hi, it's Alejandra. It, I know it's been long since my last update. So many things have happened. Mostly, I've been sick and my husband has been sick. We've been to the hospital. And with all this quarantine going around and school closed and now it's all online and there's been a ton of changes. So it did have a little bit of a setback in my project. However, I have been able to pull through. I gathered my actors before it was too late, as in before they announced the quarantine and before they announced that they were gonna close the school. And I was able to film with them. It was just a one day shoot. We made it as quick as possible. So luckily I have been able to do most of the filming that I wanted to do. There were some few parts that I wasn't able to do before the school closed and before all these announcements came out, but that's okay. I can still work, work my project without it. It's been a roller coaster. So the first day of filming, I wanted to rent out some equipment and they weren't gonna be ready by the time I had scheduled the interview with Emily. So instead of postponing or canceling the interview, I decided to look for other ways I could film um, I looked, I went to different places to see if I could rent out somewhere else, maybe with less professional equipment, but still something. So with running around here and there, talking to a lot of people and trying to organize the best that I could for a few hours, I was able to meet with Emily at the, our scheduled time. I was able to film the interview that I had scheduled and despite it being very stressful and very I guess unexpected, um, I still managed to pull through and to go with it. I did have bigger complications when it came to my second day of filming, which was scheduled a few days later after the interview with Emily. I had made sure that I reserved all the equipment that I needed in school, and I had made sure that I had done it in time. But when I went to go check out my the equipment that I had rented, the employees could see my name there, but they couldn't find my entire request. They could only see part of it, which is very confusing. I, I don't know what went wrong in the system. There was a huge misunderstanding because from my end, I was able to do it and at least until the website told me to close the page that everything was done, right? So that you would assume that everything is done. But when I went there, um, they said that they couldn't, I couldn't check out anything because the reservation wasn't complete. And that created a huge issue because I had already scheduled the actors, I had already scheduled, reserved the space where I would wanted to film. And this was a lot more because these are more actors instead of just one person. So I needed a few more things. And I tried to look for help, see who I could talk to, to please help me get the equipment that I reserved with time and to the best of my ability, right? But it, it created a bigger problem. Uh, the person who I had talked to wasn't very helpful. The person wanted to cancel my project instead of help me, helping me find equipment. And that was, definitely not gonna happen because this is my semester long project and I've been working very hard on it so I wasn't gonna cancel my project so I couldn't find all the equipment that I needed before the appointed time with my actors so I quickly postponed the time with them I, I canceled the day and they were very understanding and I'm very grateful that they were and they were they were fine with accommodating a new time I was very frustrated and I was a little upset that I had to cancel because of things that were outside of my control. So I was getting in contact with a lot of people to see what I could do without having to pay money out of my pocket. I know some people here and there who are also in the same field that I am and they possibly have professional equipment that they could let me borrow. So I did that for a few days. I also talked to my mentor. His name is Steve. He recommended 
good places that I could rent out equipment. They were very cheap, very good. So I had that as my last resort, um, just in case I couldn't find anything else, just in case nobody else uh, would be able to help me. But after talking to a few people, I was able to find the equipment that I needed. Um, but around around that time is when I, I got sick and when my husband got sick. On the bright side, I had already scheduled a day and a time and I wanted to make sure that I didn't cancel or postpone because I just wanted to get it done. And the day came and everything went well. It felt like it felt like a professional environment, even though it wasn't the most professional equipment. But I was able to get lights, microphones, cameras, which is what I needed. So I worked with it and I had a lot of fun. The third day of filming was amazing. The actors were absolutely incredible. Here's a little montage of what I did. So many things that can set you back so many things that can happen that you're not expecting so you just have to find a way to make it happen um, in the professional world you can't just be postponing and canceling um, all the time because that'll create an image that you are unprofessional and so it's very important to be resourceful and to have that fast problem solving and I was glad I was able to achieve that. So by the next time I do an update, I should be already done or close to done. So thank you for being with me throughout this journey. I hope you like the end result. Bye-bye.